So here we go. Now everything we do is going to be recorded. Okay? So yeah. if you, you could use that as a reference. Okay. So. <clears throat> Do you want to try and play that? Yeah, and I, I will. Can you, is that the, I think I can work with that keyboard size. Is there any way to make the screen a tiny bit big, bigger, or is that the maximum? If, if not, I think I can make it work. That's the, Okay, yeah, that, I, I think, think that should work. So what? I don't think what I can, were the yeah. What were the notes that you hit? Okay, so you start with the C. Yeah, with your index. Yeah, it doesn't matter which whatever finger is comfortable for you. Okay. Yeah. So F F two Fs. A okay. C F. Oh, A C F. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down. So then you have, and don't forget, you got the tape. You can always go back and look. Okay. So you got C, B flat, G, G. No. B flat. Don't put the second F in there, just... Right, and then you go, okay, so... Actually, we're going to put a seventh in there, so... Can you do that much? Um... Let me try it. Uh, you said C, A, C, F to start, and F in the left hand. And then I think you said uh, C, whoops, sorry, let me do that again. Are you playing it as an appreggio or all together? Yeah, and that makes it uh, more gospel -y. And I, I, it just sounds nicer than go. Right? Arpeggio. And then you went down to C with your left hand. Yeah, and at the same time. So, yeah. See if you can do that much. Oops, I, I keep hitting the C in, in my left hand. It's, That's all right. Let me just try this. Now, what was the third part after that B flat chord? Is that a C, a C and a G and an E flat? That's an F, C, E flat, A up here. So that's just an F7 chord. Okay, so C up in the right hand is C. It's G, uh, G flat. And, no. no, I'm not hearing the right notes. Oh, A. It's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now the next chord. And that is a. I call, uh, you can call it an A half diminished. So in in the bass you've got uh, you've got an A. A. You've got a. I'm trying to see. Is it a C sharp? C is natural. E is flat. G. No, I mean with your left hand. No, there's no C sharp. It just looks like that. Yeah. It's just an A. C E flat G. Oh, okay. C. Okay. So so far. Can you play that much for me? 
The A, and now that, that's a C C C flat chord. There's no C flat chord. Huh? Oh, that's an A half diminished. That one you're talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah. A half diminished. Okay. And then what was the what was after that? So far, that's a that's all we did so far, right? Okay. Now here's. Okay. Here we're going to do a little tricky thing. This makes it sound gospel -y. Okay. Okay. See what I'm doing here? I'm crushing. That's what gives like the bluesy sound. So okay. with my second and third finger, I'm hitting. I'm hitting the D flat and the D at the same time. But then I'm just I'm picking up my fourth finger off the D flat and just playing the D. Can you do that? See what I'm doing? Let me try that. Try it again. Yeah. I don't hear the D flat very clearly. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, good. So. I'm, a, I'm actually, I realized I was playing an octave higher than you were. Yeah, I know, that's a... Okay. And in left, your left hand. Are you touching the B flat? That's the only just the B flat. Okay. Oops. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Then the next chord is. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. That's a B diminished. You got the B down here. F A flat. A flat. Okay. A flat F. C. Get this part first. Okay, so with your with your right hand, you've got the F, the A flat. I think you've got the C. D. Oh, D. Oh, okay. And then that's an F up there. Oh, okay. Boy, that's a little tricky to reach. Is it? How big is your hand? Yeah. A little tricky. I'll have to work on that. How but, much can uh, you? How come? How much can you reach in a, with your hand? No, I can reach an octave, no problem. Yeah. Or even nine, nine notes, no problem. But my 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 pinky is kind of small. Yeah. Do you want to work on your technique also? Yes, I need to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I can help you stretch a little bit. Can I get away with just playing the three notes in my right hand for now? Or do I, or do you? Yeah, you don't have to do that. Or what if I, what if I hit the F, the D and the F? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, I want to get the melody in there. Okay. Do that, because that's the melody. Da, 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 sweet the sound. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's C. Oh, you got it. But looks like to me it looks like you got this the G, the A, and the C and the D. Is that right? G uh, C G. Yeah. A. Yeah. C. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. And then you got. Oh, that's called the turnaround, isn't it? No, a turnaround just means a series of chords that brings you back to the beginning of the phrase. Oh, okay. Uh, that's usually jazz musicians use that term, turn around. Okay. 
Um, I don't know. Where'd you learn that? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, just reading different, you know, things. Yeah. That's usually, uh, well, it, it could mean it's usually what jazz musicians say, but I guess it could be any series of chords that lead you back to the beginning of the phrase. Okay. Um, trying to think of an example we know. That's a good example of a turnaround. Okay. Well, at the end of Amazing Grace, you could play this. This this could be called a turnaround. A lot of people go. That's a turnaround. Oh yeah. See. Yeah. Anyway, how how far do we go? Okay. Now we got do that. Okay, so the, let me just work on the right hand there. Uh, the, the work. Can, can you call out the notes? And I, yeah, C, D, and then yeah. then you have a chord, A, C, F. Oh, okay, so it went. No, no, you're doing too, I'm, I'm arpeggiating it, see? Okay. Forget the arpeggio. Just do this. So it's, it's, it's it looks like it's A. Then you go C. No, it starts on C. Ba, da, da, da. That oh. saved. You know the words. That saved. That saved. No. That, that saved. Here you go. Oh, I see what you. I think I see what you did. Okay, you went C, D, and then you went, you did a block chord with That's right. A, C, F, right? Yeah. And here's the left hand, it's just C to F. C to F? Oh. No, stop playing that A in there. <laughs> it starts on C. La, la, la. Oh, that's right. There you go. You could do that too, that's nice. You put that D in there, that sounds good. Okay. But then. Okay, I'm now just, you're back at the C with your left hand. Yeah, and your right hand. I'm just, just, like, oh, I'm just playing I'm just playing the chord one note at a time. Okay. You got that chord? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, and by the way, Joe, when we do when we do a B flat, a D, and a G, is that that would be a B flat augmented, correct? A B flat of what? Augmented. What's a B flat augmented? B flat augmented? Would it be Would it be B D and G? I mean B flat D G. Instead of B flat D F, if if you do B flat D G, is is that called an augmented chord? No, an augmented is when you raise the fifth. So let's say here, what you see, watching my fingers. Yeah. That's a B flat seventh, basically. B flat down one seventh. Okay. okay. Now. If we raise the fifth up a half step, that's an augmented seventh. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, I was asking like uh, if if you hit hit uh, with your right hand B flat D F. I mean B flat D G. Yeah, that's a ninth. There's no third oh. knit, but that's a oh, okay. and if you put the third knit it would be a nice. Okay. Yeah, see all all that stuff is some is stuff I I need to get better at figuring out. So Yeah, that's just theory. Yeah. But you know what you're playing, I can tell, you know, the the secret to 
juicing up a, a song is knowing all of these little, you know, even if it's a half a step or, a, or yeah. a changing a chord from kind of a, a bland chord to one that sounds better is, right. is really what, what I see you're doing here yeah. in part, you know? Well, what I basically say to people is you can do anything you want if you have technique and theory. Okay. okay. And then well, that doesn't mean you could just do it right away. But then you have the basic tools to do anything. A guy asked me once, he said, you know, uh, you do, uh, you play in church and you do, you do gospel music, but then you do classical church music. How do you mm -hmm. do that? Because I guess he never knew anybody else that could do that. I said, well, if you know theory and you know technique, you could figure out how to do anything. Those mm -hmm. are Unless now there are people that have fantastic ears and don't have to know anything, and they're geniuses. But they're also, yeah. they're usually limited in what they can do. Mm -hmm. um, they, 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 they can do one or two things one thing really great. Well. Yeah. yeah, but then when it comes to other things, they're, they're completely stymied. You know, you, yeah. the, the, uh, the ability to read and the knowing the theory and knowing how to technically get at it are big, big helps. Yeah. You know, I know people that are very talented, but they're limited uh, for that reason. Anyway, but <clears throat> yeah, what I'm, what I always try to emphasize is if you learn the theory and the technique, then you can do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, and that's what that's really what I'd like to do. Okay. Um, I will say, look, maybe we can stop for a second. Just I'll give you some feedback. Um, I'm I'm wondering, first of all. Um, I think I can work with the size of your keyboard, but 